Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's now in solving your class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are still going to show you how to carry out um, batch processing. However, we are going to use um, raster data for the whole process. Now, the exercise is still on um, clipping. So, we come to raster, we go to extraction and then we go to clip raster by max layer. Now we have um, different bands of satellite imagery and then we have um, a study area like the location of interest, right? Good. So the idea is that if you have different raster data and then you have maybe one extent you want to clip or perhaps different extents you want to clip and then you want to do the whole clipping at once, then you can actually watch this video for um, understanding the process. So when the clip um, raster by max layer window is open, we come to run as a batch process. Now, under the run as a batch process window, we have similar inputs, um, we have similar options as do we have for the um, vector data, right? Good. So, the first of which is what the input layer. Now, if we use this drop down, we are going to see what the individual bands, right? Good. However, for us to uh, make the process very fast, we use the autofill drop down. So we click on the autofill and then the drop down now shows us what select from open layers. Now from this um, select from open layers, we now see the option for multiple selection. So we click on select all. It helps us to select all the raster data we have what on our on our layers panel and then we click on OK. Now what you would observe is that the max layer which is the extent to which we want to clip has also been what auto filled right good. So if yours is not auto filled you still come to the um, auto fill you select what the file or you select from open layers it's always better you select from open layers because it will be what you see here under your layer panel. When you select from the open layer, you would see what the vector data you want to what use because this option is basically for vector data and then this is basically for what the raster data. So since we have just one vector data, you've seen the vector data. So you select it, maybe you just click on this or you use what they select all, they do the same stuff and then you click on OK. Now, since we are redoing it, that's why this option came. We can just decide to take this out. So when you've done that, you use the drop down towards to fill down, right? Good. Just like the way we did for the raster. Now, basically, these other options are um, optional. If you still want to do it, you use what the drop down here. You select what the project CRS. This data falls under UTM zone 32 because it's um, actually um, using a projected um, CRS. So we select this. Upon selecting this, we can now use this um, autofill option and then select what fill down. So you now see that the CRS has been what has been autofilled down, right? Good. Similarly, we can do same for the target CRS because the source and the target CRS must be the same. So we use this option, we select um, zone 32, then under the autofill, we fill down, right, good. So the source and the target um, CRS has been what has been set. Now we can leave all other options as default as they are, and then we now scroll down to where we have what the output, which is what the clipped layer. So what we are going to do is that we are going to browse, so we've navigated to a folder where we have the batch processing for raster and then we have a subfolder called product. Now on this product, we are going to give it a name um, like a prefix called um, clipped, right? Good. Then I'll leave an underscore there, you know. This will help us to um, identify the clipped um, raster data when the process is complete. So we have clipped underscore and then we click on save. Now there is an autofill um, option. There's an autofill settings, right? Good. This window helps you to select the, the pattern with which you want to autofill what the output um, clipped files.
so it's asking you do you want to autofill like the um, autofill mode if you do not want to autofill you leave do not autofill then if you want to fill with the parameter values which is what what we are going to do we select them fill with parameter values now what is the parameter value we want to use we want to use what the input layer right good so you are going to see these other options as the ones that um, we have seen while we are trying to set up the um, batch processing window right good where you have the input layer the max layer the source crs and all of that so it's always better we use the input layer it's just like a primary key that identifies each of the what each of the raster data we have by their band numbers right good so we select the input layer so depending on the data set you have yours might be maybe raster data for land use land cover yours might be for digital elevation model so whatever the data you have and then the vector data you have the processes are all are similar right good so you just um, have to impute the actual file for the input for the crs and then finally to the clipped right good so i will fix that we have tried to um, prompt QGIS that we are using the clipped underscore the different, uh, what do you call it, bands of our raster data, of our satellite imagery, right? Good. So we click on OK. Now you are going to see that by looking at the name, let's just take it to the beginning. You now see clipped underscore LCO8. LCO8 now helps you what, identify each of the bands. And then if we take it to the beginning, we are going to see band one or something, right? But so this now tells you that each of the good, so we have band one, band two, down to band seven, just like we have in our input. So we have um, selected or we have gotten the output for um, each of the clipped bands. What is now left is for us to run the process so that it will now be appended in what in the um, folder we have created however do not forget to um, turn on load layers on completion so whatever the clipped product is it will be loaded what on our map canvas right good so we click on run good the process is complete and then it's loaded on our map canvas we can decide to close this now upon closing that you can see clipped lc8 up to band 7 right good so if we decide to good i can decide to take this out and then zoom okay let me zoom this extent to layer so you now see what the different what um clip trusters that are representing the different bands of the satellite imagery we are using so thanks for coming to class we hope uh, we have provided solutions to how to use um the batch processing for your raster data right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye